so excited to be here planning with you in my daily planner. So this is my A5 on the go daily duo and I am already obsessed with like the size of the planner and I feel like this is going to just add like that next level of creative functionality is kind of what I'm thinking but I have this like creative space. I'm very excited about using this as a secondary creative space but I also I'm very excited for the functionality like I'm excited to actually like take this on the go and that kind of thing. Also if any of you know of any places that make like exterior harder covers for these this size especially for A5 without any rings or anything feel free to let me know. I would love to pick one up. I know that I think Notique makes one. I am looking a little bit more budget friendly right now but those covers are absolutely stunning so I eventually would love to get one but if you know of any places let me know. So we are going to plan this week and we're going to use this beautiful it's like a neutral kit. Let me see if I can give you kind of like the vibes. So here are these are like some boxes these are like the shadowy boxes I don't even know all of what I'm gonna need here but this is like the vibe of it I guess so decorative washi in here all this good stuff so I've got lots to play with lots of things that match and that will be so fun I'm just very excited about it okay so we are gonna be planning for the week of August the 12th so I think right isn't that oh yeah Monday the 12th okay so then we also need this page and I don't know am I using the notes page in between I guess we'll find out so I think the first thing that I probably will do is I probably will go ahead and put together the we get a glance page so this is all one piece this sticker this week at a glance page so we're gonna we're gonna see how this goes I'm not usually great with like long stickers like this but we're gonna see we're gonna see how it goes it's very cute I have to say so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to line it up on the edge over here and hope that it works. The good thing about Planner Kate stickers, oh you guys literally can't even see what I'm doing. I would move but I feel like it's gonna like totally screw it up if I do that. But by some miracle I think that actually worked. Oh my gosh and that is so cute. I'm obsessed. So there is that and now I need to figure out how I'm gonna decorate these weekly pages or these daily pages now. These are not weekly pages. So I don't know. Am I going to do washi sets on each one? I like that this kit kind of matches everything here. So we're going to start with some cute washi. I think that is what we're going to do. I think maybe I have my hand lifted weird. I don't know. I need to figure this out. I feel like this is just like a little thing that I have because when I was a kid, I could not for the life of me cut in a straight line. So I think I might just have like a little, I don't know, like a perception something. Who knows? Okay, so this is gonna be Monday. I see what these are for now. I get it. I hope you guys are like liking to watch me kind of like flounder around here <laughs> and figure this out. Okay, wait a minute. Did that, okay, where did the number go? The number went on the outside and then we had the day of the week. Okay, so we'll put the number 12. These are cute. Okay, so we'll put the number 12 down here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Maybe we'll come down a little bit further so you guys can see more. And then we'll go ahead and do Monday next to it. I think that looks cute. Yeah, that's very cute. And I could kind of like stagger these. So there is enough washi here that I could like decorate in a variety of ways. Yeah, we'll see. We'll just see how this goes. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to use any of the skinny washi. Maybe I'll save that for something else. Hopefully I have enough of these like bigger pieces. I think I do. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have exactly enough. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. Okay, and I, I don't know. I think this kit also is going to help me 
know-how basically to use a daily planner. So I've had it just like sitting here for a week or something. I don't know. And it's one of those things. I told you guys about this last video. It's one of those things where I feel like I just had so much trouble even like thinking about starting because it's new. It's like totally different. And so I really had to like sit there and process it for a bit and figure out how exactly I wanted it to look, what I wanted to do with it, all of that stuff. So I just had to figure out how to start. But here we are. We're starting this week. We're gonna write stuff in. It's gonna be great. Okay, cute. Then another one of these. I think this washi is like absolutely perfect for this planner. Again, using kits and like these washi stickers has kind of made me like a washi girly. Like I like it. I like how the washi stickers match with the kits. I don't have to keep like a million rolls of washi because that is not my jam but I do like this. I like how this is going. Okay, and then we'll do the 15th. Super cute. And then that is Thursday. And I feel like our week is already getting busy. I need to go ahead and actually update one, maybe two things in my other planner. I think I put one in there already, but the other one I need to put in in my like main squeeze planner. Okay, what did I do next? Oh, I think I did one of these next actually. Super fun. But there are not, so if I wanted to do just skinny washi though, there's not enough. And it doesn't necessarily cover the days. Hmm, very interesting. And then I guess what I'll do is just on each of these days, I'll put the stuff that I know that I have going on right now. I need a little pocket that fits these stickers though. I'm going to look and see if there are any snap-in type pockets on the EC website that fit this planner. I heard they're having a little bit of a sale, so I might check that out. And of course, I'm always looking at covers. You know I love to change my covers. <laughs> okay, so I did, which one did I do? I did that one, so then we'll do this one. We'll kind of alternate. This is turning out cute, and I do kind of like how the actual designs on this page kind of match this kit. That's kind of why I went for this a little bit, because it kind of matches, although I am covering so much of it. It doesn't really matter that much. And I do like that they give you all of the numbers because then you could like save them and then at the end of it you'd have enough, like after four weeks, you'd have enough for basically like a full month. And then you could save those and utilize them later. So yeah, also like you guys have been <laughs> so active in my comments and like watching basically all of my videos and I cannot tell you like how thankful I am. I don't know, are we just all loving the EC content? I do feel a little bit bad because I know there are some people who truly enjoy the Happy Planner videos that I was making, but I don't know. I just wasn't super into those, I guess. I do still want to make them and I am still using that planner as a journal, but these videos are more fun for me to make right now and I'm just really into like this like productivity thing that I have going on as well as just like my EC planners in general. But I do know that there were a couple of people who were very into the happy planner stuff. So I don't know. I will try to get back into doing those. I just am very into my EC planners right now. It's like, maybe it's new, it's fun. I'm like excited about it again. Maybe that's what it is, but okay. So we have our week at a glance. I'm going to fill it in using stuff from my seven by nine because that's already filled in for the week. We've already done that plan with me. Oh, I need to move this too so I can find the correct week. It's like two weeks behind. Okay, so we'll move this. Do, do, do. You probably can't even see what I'm doing. I'm so zoomed in. Okay, I know this is the A5 video. I know the seven by nine will get out of here in just a second, but I just need to write down on my week at a glance what I'm going to be 
working on. But honestly, like with this week at a glance, I feel like a, it's kind of like a game changer for people who only use the daily planner as like a supplement to a seven by nine. I could see almost using this planner as like a everything planner, but I don't think I'm ready to put my life into one planner. But the way that this breaks it up, I could see that happening. Okay, so Monday I have an interview and now let me figure out how I want to put that in here. Okay, boxes, boxes. I don't think I want to do that. I think I might just use these little bullet points. Although, are these for, I think these might be for the to-do lists. Let's see. Are there, I think they are. Yeah, they are. So what I actually think I'm going to do then is I think I'm going to grab, we're going to like vary from our system a little bit. And if I sound far away, it might be because I am. I'm standing up looking at something. Oh, actually, here we go. So this is from my July kit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use these little stars because I have them right here. And we'll just use them up for things that we have going on. And then we'll go back and fill in our to-do list. Maybe we'll zoom out a little bit here since we're a little bit wider on the page. Okay, so Wednesday or Monday we have the interview. I also said laundry day, but we'll see about that. <laughs> Tuesday is trash day. I'll put one for that. And I'll just write all of this later. Maybe I'll make some notes about what I wrote <laughs> or I'll just look on here. Okay, and then Wednesday is a taking care of business day. Oh, Monday also. Okay, Harrison also has swim lessons. I should just put everything on here. And then these are like the places that I have to go. And then after that, I need to let out my parents' dog. And then I think I'm going to put dog park over here in the to-do box as like a recurring. I'm going to put like dog park daily. And then I'll put Delilah's work schedule over there too. As, and this is actually her last week of work. Okay, so Tuesday is trash day. Wednesday is a taking care of business day. I might actually need to do a grocery pickup here also. Should I fit this here? I think I'm going to put it over here for our bulk order. Oh my gosh, Monday is going to be crazy pants. Okay, so then Wednesday has a taking care of business day. And I'll find out the hours for that. And then Thursday has one too. Okay. Okay, Thursday's got one too. It'll just kind of depend on when we're gonna go to that and like how that's gonna go. It'll depend on that. And then Friday, oh, of course he's got swim lessons every day too. So I should put that on here. Okay, and he will be in, he moved up a level, which is so exciting. Okay, I'm gonna need to maybe order some of these little asterisks since I'm gonna be using them here. Oh my gosh, okay. Wednesday, Thursday, and then we'll put swim lessons on Friday. Okay, and then a swim lesson sticker on Friday. This isn't a swim lesson sticker per se. And then Saturday, we are going to Olympia. My best friend's twins are turning, I think, six. Super exciting. So we're going to go there for their birthday party. And... That'll be fun. And then Sunday, I was hoping to take the kids swimming, but we'll see. And then we have planning time in there, dog park. Okay, so then I don't need this anymore. I can put this back. I have like a pile over there of like my used kits. I see what's going on here. All right, so that is all good to go. And I think what I'm gonna do, just so that when we're writing in the daily pages, then I have something to reference. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and write stuff in right now. And then I will come back and then we'll finish. So we'll do like kind of two different little writing sections. And then we'll come back and do everything. Okay, so I'll be right back. Try. 
day. So I actually just took the moment to update my other planner because I feel like that's kind of like real life. Like we realize, oh yeah, we're doing a spread for this one. And then we figure out, oh yeah, I need to do, I need to do that in here too. Okay. So then what we'll do is we will use those stickers, those checklist stickers. I think they're supposed to fit here. I'm pretty sure. And that looks right. Hopefully they fit all the way down so nicely. I'm sure they will because Planner Kate, I feel like her measurements are never off, at least so far. They're like perfect. And her stickers are cut so beautifully. That's exactly how those are supposed to go. So we'll just put these on each day. Super fun. Also, okay, so I had someone ask, and I know that I had a pretty big Happy Planner audience, so a lot of you probably like customizations to your planners. And I had someone ask, like, do the pages come out of this planner like the Happy Planner? And I will say they do not. However, I had a tip that someone shared with me that you can, and I don't know how well this works because I haven't tried it, but this was shared with me. So feel free to try at your own risk. But you can go and like the side right here, like by the rings, like where the, we would see a disc right before, you can just make the tiniest little cut right there. And then apparently your pages can come in and out just like Happy Planner. I don't know how that works like for the sustainability of the pages. I don't know if the sides, because there's so many different spaces to go in and out of the ring or not rings, the coil. I don't know how many times you would really be able to take them in and out. I don't know about that part of it. So I don't know if you've tried it and it hasn't worked for you let me know. I would love to know that. So this has been actually like a very fun little like learning journey. It's been very nice. And I feel like I'm getting extra organized. I'm going to be ready to haul this planner around with me, update it on the go, do some, I probably will do like a little morning routine with my planner. Maybe that's what I should focus on is like a little planner routine. And then I can tell you guys all about it. <laughs> That might be something cool to do. Other updates, it is Sunday night as I'm filming this. So this will kind of be the schedule going forward. So I will probably plan in this planner every Sunday night. So this video will go live for you guys on Monday. And my other plan with me will be, of course, up on Sundays when I know a lot of folks are planning. So I hope that there are some of you that are like actually doing your planning and watching me. I think that's so fun <laughs> when that happens. Oh, I know that's what I do or when I, what I used to do when I didn't, you know, I wasn't talking to a camera in planning. I would just play different like plan with me's and it was like planning with friends. It was so nice. So I envision that some of you have me turned on and we're planning together. That is what I always think about. And then I need to think, okay, so the size boxes that I got should fit next to the time because I think I need to see the time of things and how it works. So otherwise I'll forget. I mean, I could look at the time around it, but I just don't think that will work well for me. Let me know if that, if that's how you daily plan or what you decide to do. Also, I probably use a lot more stickers than a lot of people, but that's my vibe. I like a lot of stickers. It helps me. I'd like to think that it helps me when everything's pretty. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go day by day and put in what we know is happening. Okay, so Monday, it's getting a little crazy. Dang, I forgot. I hope that interview doesn't take longer than 30 minutes tomorrow. I forgot that I need to leave by like 11.30 tomorrow. That's okay though. That's gonna be a bit of mass chaos. Basically what I want to happen then is I want to be ready to walk out the door. It looks like, oh shoot, it goes till 11.45. Yeah, we might just have to be a little bit late. We'll see. Maybe it will finish by 11.30, who knows. But I do need, I do need to attend to that. It is something that's gonna be kind of important. I definitely don't wanna miss it. I'm trying to decide how I wanna use these boxes versus, okay. I think I want to use 
kind of the more plain color ones. Let's see. Okay, so I think what I'll do, and it's interesting, the sizing is very interesting. I'll use this one and then maybe like a colorful one. Okay, and again, these should fit right next to the time. They shouldn't like need to cover it or anything. Okay, so here is for, this will be for the interview. And then Harrison's swim lesson, it starts at 11.40. So in an ideal world, I would be leaving at 11.30. It's just right down the road. And the thing is, is that it's only like a 30 minute swim lesson. So that's why I'm like, dang, if I'm late, like do we even go? I think we do go just to like get him in there. Maybe I like call ahead and tell the teacher or something. I don't know. I'll be in the interview, so I can't really, I don't know, we'll see. I planned it like this originally because this week his lessons were at 12.15. <laughs> so that would have worked out, but this is gonna be very tight. I probably should have gone for the earlier time. That's okay though. I'm just excited to be in the room, honestly. I'm excited to have an interview. Okay, so then, what I think I'm gonna do is, because it's kind of overlapping at the 11.30 time, I think I will do, maybe we like layer a box? I haven't really layered in this planner yet, but I think if we, okay, but we need it to be over here kind of, so it doesn't bump into the other things. I probably should have just used a smaller box to be honest with you. That's okay though. It actually looks kind of cool like this. Okay, and then swim lessons. And then, oh dang, okay. Maybe what we'll do is use our little washi cutter and we'll just shorten the box by a little bit. I think what I need, I was trying to hang onto it with my fingers, but I don't think that's gonna work super well. It's just this little tail end and it doesn't wanna come off super well. I don't know what's going on here with this sticker. Oh, is it coming off? No. This is very weird. Maybe it's like a different, huh. Okay, well, maybe what I do then is use my little X-Acto knife type thing. That might work better for this situation. There, okay, that actually worked perfect. That's what I needed. Okay, and then at like 1 p.m. So his swim lesson will go from 11 to, it'll be like 12, 15. But by the time we get like wrapped up in our towel and stuff, it'll probably be one. So then I need to let my parents dog out for an hour. My mom needs a little bit of help. So we'll do this. Okay, my battery is like 2% on my camera. Shoot, okay. And then after two, maybe I'll say three, just to give myself a little bit of time. We are going to go pick up that bulk order of groceries because we are out. We are completely out of all of our fruits and veg. Well, we have, I think, tomatoes left. And I think that, I think that might be it. Okay, so there is that schedule. Okay, and then, flipping back over here, Tuesday, another interview. And what time was that one at? I need to add the time. That one's at nine. Okay, that will be better. That will be much better. Then I won't be like pushing it to the limit. Okay, so then we'll get another one of these. And we'll put our interview at nine. And then we just have Harrison's swim lesson. Oh, and then eventually I also have my dog park run. Probably should, because this is an hourly planner, I probably should put my dog park run on here. And I've been going at like 4.30. I'm still debating if I want to put that on here. So swim lessons are going to be 11.30 to like 12.30. Yeah, so we're going to need to like scoot. And she allotted 45 minutes. I don't know if it will take the whole 45 minutes, but I also don't want to like rush anything. I want to be like really, I don't know. I want, I want them to like me. <laughs> I want to show up and be the best candidate. Um, because it is a tough market out there already. I swear, like I feel very fortunate that I'm even getting callbacks at this point because I have heard just some like horror stories at this time. It's been crazy. 
Okay, maybe I do. Maybe I do put Dog Park on here. So how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So we're going to do these skinny brown stickers at, we're going to say 430. I'm just going to put them on here at 430. If we're there at 430, we are. If we are there a little bit later, it just is what it is. But at least it's on here, so it's on my radar. Okay, so there's that. And then another little box for Dog Park on this side. Oh, you guys didn't even see what I did there. Sorry. Okay, and then Dog Park at 430 over here too. Oh my goodness. I feel like this plan with me took so long because I was like trying to figure out, what do I do with this kit in here? What are all the parts? It's like the hardest part of starting a new planner. Okay, so we'll put our uh, 430 dog park. And Delilah has taken care of business day on this day too. Let me pause here for a second and like, I need to change my battery anyway. So we'll do that. And then I'm gonna look up the taking care of business day times and we'll figure that out. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I figured that out. I wonder though, do I write it in the spot? of the time or do I put something like a to-do item and then when we figure out what day we're going because there are two different options then do I write it in the hourly I think I like that better okay so Wednesday it goes from oh my gosh I did not leave enough time 10 to 1 and then also I'm just going to like do like this this looks terrible. Okay, and then also from 2 to 5. 2 to 5. And then this is, okay, so we also have from 12 to 3. And then 4 to 7. 4 to 7. Okay, so there's options. I think that's what I'll do on each of those days. I won't write it in on the time that we need because we don't know exactly I don't want to write that's like the whole day right so I think what we do is we are going to take not a huge box but maybe like one of these yeah we'll do like one of these here you guys cannot even see that okay we'll do one of these down here although that's the same color as the checklists We'll do the darker one. We'll just do that. Okay. We'll do this. Okay. I like that there are the arrow stickers too. And then we'll do one on Thursday and then I'll write the times in. So then we can decide. I know that Delilah wants to go with one of her little friends. So we're going to have to figure out when they're going. Okay. So the first one was from... Oh, we'll just come back and write those. Okay. So we have our dog park on Wednesday, back to Wednesday. Okay, and then we have swim lessons. I think it's the only other thing except for taking care of business day. So we'll do maybe this guy for swim at 11.30 to 12.30. That will be cute. Okay, I actually love using this kit for this daily planner again i've never really been into using a daily planner and now like here we are <laughs> it's just working so nice i think this these ones i didn't get the option to like have it be beside the time and so that's why it's a little bit longer so that's why i'm cutting it a little it's not quite as like perfect as the other ones but i think it's okay i think maybe i will make sure I see that in my order for next time because I really do like it beside the time better than actually like on the time oh goodness and it's stuck to that other sticker oh no and my eyes at night it's just so hard to see like where the little edge is and then that's when I'm filming it's like late at night there we go okay so then let's see if it's gonna come up I think it is perfect Okay, so then we have swim. Same deal on Thursday, I think. I don't think there was anything else on Thursday yet. I'm sure more will come up. Uh, Thursday is taking care of business, swim, and dog park. Okay, 
so dog park sticker is this brown one. Oh my gosh, we're almost to the end of the week. We almost made it. Oh, 4.30, not 3.30. So cute. I really like this neutral, like all these neutrals in this kit too. It's very pretty. Okay, and then swim. So we'll do this one. Just trying to use like different patterns if we can. Okay, so then, and I'm gonna have to trim it a little bit, but that is okay. Okay, so there's that. Okay, and again, I really like, I, I feel like somebody, so in my other video, I titled it, Have I Found Planner Piece? I don't know if that actually exists. Is that a myth? Who knows? But anyway, someone said that they think I found sticker piece for sure. I think you're probably right. <laughs> I think you're totally right. Okay, and then Friday, it, I think it was just, let's see, it was just swim so far. Okay, so then we'll see how that goes. 11.30 to 12.30, then we'll do a little trimmy trim so it doesn't go over the other. Oh, that is totally crooked. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. I like this too because I don't know it it like does something where it like trips my dashboard brain almost like this almost feels like planning in a dashboard planner because I got like the checklist I got the weekly overview even though they're not all on the same page this really feels very reminiscent of like what a happy planner dashboard planner feels like for me to plan in. So if any of you are current dashboard planners and you are thinking about trying something else, this might be something to try. Okay, Friday and then dog park and then, okay, Saturday. I don't think I'm going to go to the dog park, honestly. Um, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with Phoebe that day as well, because we're going to be in the trampoline park for like three hours. Usually I take her with me, but I might have to, hmm, that's going to be a to-do item for Phoebes. Okay, um, the birthday party. I'm going to do, hmm, what other options? Okay, these are all of our functional things, huh? It looks like it. Um, I think what we do then is do... So the party starts, I'm leaving at 11. So I think I'm gonna do this 11 o'clock box. And then I'm gonna do like an arrow possibly to go down a couple hours. We're gonna use one of these. This is so fun. I wonder if it will be able to reach as far as I need it to. <laughs> because I don't think we're gonna go home until until six. I think I need another one. I think what we'll do, oh no, we will not drop it. Um, we'll cut it and then we'll just put two together. Perfect, 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 perfect. So we'll put this here and then we'll put it kind of out of the way in case, or maybe we'll put it over here. Um, I can't decide what's better <laughs> if I need to put something else there. I don't think I will because so three, and then I will need one more. I don't know if I'll need the whole time though, because I anticipate being home by six. Um, maybe we'll cut off like this top part. And then we'll just stick this together. Even if it's like kind of close. I know it's bedtime Apple Watch, I get it. But we've got planning to do, okay? That's actually, I eyeballed that and it turned out perfect. I don't know how that happened. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're probably not going to do dog park that day. So I'm going to need to figure something out. Um, okay, and then Sunday will be dog park. At like 4.30. I am going to need to change up the time, I think, in the near future. Because our days are getting shorter. I don't think I need to right now, but... That usually happens in the winter time. No um, swim lessons, but I think we're gonna do open swim. So I think what I'll do is I'll put one of, well, I kind of like these because they are 
cut right. Or, but the other ones are cut fine as well, but um, that was my mistake to order them, not like beside the time. Okay, <clears throat> so that will be swim. And I think for right now, that's everything. A lot left over. So this could honestly, like I could use it for another, another week. There's plenty left here in like if I did it on different days. The only thing that's not left is I would need to order some of these like day of the week labels to use this again. But like there's plenty here. I don't think I need to order all of these next time. Like these, well, I do like the arrows, so I probably will order that again. I might even just do like these plain boxes next time. I might not even just do like mess around with the shaded boxes. Okay, but now we need to get some pen on the week. So let's do that. And I'll fill in any to-do list items that I know right now. But yeah. Okay, so Monday, craziest day. And you'll see a lot of flipping back and forth because I need to look at that other page and see what was already in there. Okay, so I will be right back. You're far away and yet so close. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, you're up in space. You're inside the noise. I can feel you. All the places I hope it means that you'll come home to me once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. week in this planner. I don't know. This is just not a before the pen type of planner, I guess. Okay, so I put in all of my things and I feel I feel like very ready to go. Both of my planners are ready. This has everything in it for on the go as well, like anything that I need. I basically have the same plans in both planners. However, oh, Tuesday I did not put in, there's one last thing I need to like make a note of that I might want to do on Tuesday is film a shopping vlog. And I think I put that on the weekly, but I just didn't. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put that here. So anyway, yeah, I put basically the same plans in both planners, but I feel like because there's more room to write here, there is, um, I don't know what time yet, so that's why I'm going to just put it here, and then we'll add it over there. Um, but I feel like there's more room to write, and so I feel like everything's kind of like broken down a little bit more. Um, I have to-do lists as well. Again, this just really works from like my dashboard type brain, 
and I feel like there's enough room to write. It's not like the mini where I'm like fighting it. And then if I do need to like actually have note space because I use the note spaces in my other planner for so many other things, I actually have that. So very happy with how this is working out. I, again, I've never been like a daily girl, but I also like that this is planned already. Like, I think that is my problem. When I was planning daily before, I was like, okay, I have to plan daily. Like I have to, of course I'm in my planners daily, but I have to like get out stickers and like do all of that. But this, having it preset, this is perfect. I love this. Okay, so we're gonna also test and see, I don't think these are gonna fit because this folder is teeny tiny, but maybe at least, can these fit potentially? Ooh, it's a tight squeeze, but maybe. Um, and what about these? Can these fit? Just a few little functional things that match the kit. And then maybe if I fold these, I just don't think these are, there's like barely, there's not quite enough room. But if I do fold them, they'll fit. And those are all the things that I think I need to keep in there, like on the go. And then we're set. because so everything else is like decorative. This page is done. We love a finished planner sticker page. I won't need more washi and stuff, so this can just like go to the side. But yeah, let's take a look at that cute little spread one more time. And I am very pleasantly surprised. I wasn't sure, honestly, like I got this and I was like, okay, can I make it work for on the go stuff? But I think yes. And then we'll just have like our detailed to-do lists. I'm a fan. Maybe I even keep this upstairs and my other one. I just like, I reconvene every night with these planners. Who knows? I'm very happy about it though. I love this. Okay. So yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. We'll just like say goodbye to each other. So before we say goodbye, I, on this beautiful weekly, I like this week weekly layout, I think better than the one that's already like pre-provided. Pre it's similar, but it gives you like a habits box too and a shorter, like just a full on weekly to-do list instead of to-do lists for each day. I like this, I like this a lot. Okay, oh my gosh, these blue dots are like the bane of my existence. I thought I got rid of them or I thought people got rid of these and didn't use these anymore, but they do. Okay, so I'm gonna just put this here cause I don't wanna be floundering for where my weeks are. So that's gonna be there, but thanks so much for being here, you guys. If you're new here, hi, my name is Caitlin. I would love it if you would go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below and follow along. You guys are absolutely wonderful. You're the wind beneath my wings. Let me get this out of your way so you can see. Um, you are all just like the absolute best. So thank you so much for being here. And then if you are new, welcome. I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below and hang out with me and do all of the fun things. And if you are one of my current friends, followers, that kind of thing, thank you so much for being here. You guys are wonderful. And here's your internet hug for the day. And then if you'd like to find me anywhere else, you can find me over on Instagram, which I hope to be more active over there in the near future. Just trying to make sure I'm consistent here first and then we'll kind of grow outwards. So thanks so much for being here. I also do have a TikTok account. I think it's Create in Chaos over there. I will try to link it down in the description box below, but I am on the road or the goal to reach 10,000 followers so that I can be monetized over there as well. So if even like one third of you here went ahead and followed me there, that would be tremendously helpful. So thanks in advance for doing that. And I think that's it. If you'd like to use any coupon codes or affiliate links that I have in the description box below, you are welcome to do that. And by the way, you guys have fun today.